Hey guys, it's Eric O'Bradock here. I wanted to make a quick video about the Sam Cedar uh, Jackson Hinkle debate that was streamed on the Majority Report yesterday. Um, I mean, I'm not sure if anybody saw it, but basically it was just reduced to uh, Jackson Hinkle from the dive, just making endless, endless comments, just anything he could say in bad faith that was like disparaging um, Sam. And if you go back into his interviews, you can see that like in his like three hour, like a Vosh debate, like this is just like his arguing style. And I just think it's time for us to call attention um, to the right wing that it's time for them to argue with some better faith. Like it's time for them to give us one point at a time, especially if it's about politics. If it's about something that needs to be explained, that, that needs to be like broken down in depth, there needs to be um, a platform for debate and I just think that if you if you go back and watch the debate and you listen to some of the things that Jackson was saying, essentially, he was really getting at that he wanted to support either maybe third parties or um, he just wanted to just take down like the squad entirely, which obviously is not good for democracy. And if somebody was a leftist or a Democrat, then that would be the most backwards thing you could possibly do. But instead of just outright like saying these things, he kind of like cloaks them in um, just just vague phrases. And the issue with that debate was he wasn't giving Sam the, the platform to really like stand up for himself and debunk um, some, of those, some of those baseless um, claims. And whenever Sam tried to call him on it, like for instance, when, when Sam asked him if he wanted to primary some of those, those Democrats, he kind of like cowered away from the position. He cowered away from like the third parties. Um, it's just like, I don't know. It's just, I'm, 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 I'm telling you, Jackson, like if you debate people, you have to be more clear and you have to be more direct. And it's, it's just time to, to give these ideas the, the platform they deserve. Of course, you don't want to do that because you don't want to say you're against the left. But again, you are making a, a just just complete like dishonest, um, you know, claim, just dis dishonest debate. And it's just not fair. It's it's not fair to throw everything against the wall and, and just wait to see what sticks. I mean, you can like you can keep doing that in future debates. But I, I mean, it's it's not going to work. It's, it's not going to work. Like, the videos are going to continue to get, like, demonetized. Like, you can't just lie to people. And I, I just wanted to, you know, make sure that everybody was, was, was clear on that. On the fact that you can't just lie to people. Or, like, you know, just, just be dishonest by kind of cloaking things in, um, you know, half-truths. Um, people, people are going to see through it eventually. You're not going to be able to retain the same fan base. It's, it's just not going to work. So... I, I wish you the best of luck, but I think it's time to, to rethink the debating style before the next debate. Uh, anyway, thanks, guys. Uh, it's Eric O'Bradock again. Um, I'll be uploading here, um, you know, spontane uh, spontaneously. <laughs> and um, let me know your thoughts. Um, you, can you can reach me at, on uh, Twitter. I'm at Alex and Comics on Twitter. And um, have a good day.